This is Twit. GTX 1030. Um, uh, as Jeremy writes up on PC Per, quietly launched from a variety of vendors late yesterday amidst the tsunami of AMD announcements. Um, you know, basically, it's, it's very similar to uh, uh, AMD's Radeon RX 550. The idea is that, you know, it's better than integrated graphics on your motherboard. Um, uh, NVIDIA is claiming uh, it's a wee tiny card. It's low profile. Uh, they're claiming it offers twice the performance of the iGPU found at Intel Core i5 processors and in many cases is passively cooled. So, you know, it's it's more of a home theater PC, a I need something better than the graphics on my computer, but I don't want to spend real money to get a, a, a talented gaming GPU uh, or I'm running games that are so old I really don't need that much in terms of 3D performance. Um, you're looking at like 75 or 85 bucks. I do like the fact that a lot of them are passively cooled, although some of the heat sinks on them are kind of crazy. Um, you know, the HPI 2.0B, um, you know, they even offer, uh, you know, a DVI slot along with the HDMI and Zotax offering. Um, you know, MSI went kind of crazy. They dropped a half dozen models. Um, one's actively cooled, for example, that'll run up to like a 1,518 megahertz boost clock. Um, the passively cooled one uh, uh, does not have a fan, but is going to take up additional slots in your motherboard because it has a massive passive cooler available on it. Similar stories uh, uh, from Gigabyte where they do a, a low profile 2G and a silent low profile 2G model. Um, you know, in those cases, they offer an overclock mode uh, and a gaming mode, which takes you from like uh, 1,252 megahertz to... Uh, 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 I want to say, excuse me, our gaming mode uh, runs you at uh, 1,227 megahertz um, and a 1,468 megahertz boost. And then an overclocking mode, uh, it takes you to an even higher 1,506 megahertz uh, with a base clock of 1,252 megahertz. But again, like the other ones, uh, you either get a smaller, more compact, more slot-saving, friendly fan version or a passively cooled version with a massive heat sink on it. So, you know more of a home theater PC or, uh, you know, my old GPU died and I just need something to connect it to a television kind of option, uh, more so than an actual genuine, like I'm going to do some serious gaming on this, or at least yeah. it will make gaming suck less on your aging core i five system. 